Hello. Previously, we had seen introduction to virtual machine and how it is important to our course uh, to run any kind of uh, ethical hacking tool. Uh, I can definitely run on my virtual machine. It would be easy uh, instead of running into our physical machine. So, uh, in this session, we're going to understand how to install, uh, I mean, a kind of op guest operating system onto a virtual machine. Right? So, you have uh, different choices according to your physical machine. So, if you are having um, just like me, uh, HP machine or any kind of uh, small ended physical machine, you can install a, a VMware and uh, we also have a virtual box. The links are here, you can download it from here. Uh, either way, it is a, a buy thing. Uh, virtual box is completely free from Oracle, so you can download this one. This is pretty uh it's it's a good option actually it's a free open source so you can use as uh, other is uh, you also use uh, hypervisor uh, sorry hyper v uh, from microsoft it is pre-built in your 8.1 operating system uh you see that uh, to run a virtual machine uh, there might be some error depending on vtx so that is uh, like if you are having a graphic card and if you have not uh, enabled it from your uh, bias then please uh, uh, I mean enable it from your bias uh, there is an option a uh, virtualization technology disable so you need to enable it right that can be uh, that kind of error uh, comes up uh, if you get that that please uh, then please uh, just comment in the comment section there uh, in the course so that I can resolve that out all right otherwise you will not get an error uh, that I'm pretty sure about it so two options you are having uh, I mean you can have a Mac operating system then you can use VMware Fusion also um, any other if you are having system then uh, according to the system you can you know install so I'm having a VMware workstation uh, this is virtual box and these are some of the links which are uh, you know uh, several attacks being uh, performed on virtual machine so please look after the attack as well so if you are running if you do not know what kind of malware it is do not run it on a virtual machine there is a separate send box available where you can run all these malwares do not run it on a virtual machine it is not a safe thing so you can please uh, uh, read this uh, article which is I mean, it's, there is an example ransomware that attacks you from inside a virtual machine in which uh, uh, ransomware which has been uh, executed on the virtual machine and it affect your um, physical machine as well there is a there is something called as hyperjacking hyperjacking it is a kind of malicious uh, code which controls your hypervisor and uh, this is also a kind of attack which is happening in recent time so please look after all these links uh, which is good for a kind of small research and thing so i'm having uh, my uh, virtual machine here and i'm gonna install kali linux i already have it but i'm gonna install it one more time so that i can show you that how we can install and what are the aspect of all these controls here all right so let's understand uh, when i go to my file machine there is a, a new virtual machine if you want to install there is a new window uh, scan for virtual machine if you are already having uh, vmware iso then you can directly install it from here it will not install it will directly you know open the virtual machine for you uh, so just like uh, i can if i can show you in the kali download section uh, <clears throat> there is a pre-built uh, download for vmware uh, for kali linux let me show you um, my internet is not that very slow but uh, okay so you see here that there is a uh, yeah see here Kali Linux 64 bit VMware you can directly uh, you know uh, there, there's a VMware copy of it you can directly scan it here from the file machine and it will directly install on your on your uh, virtual machine you do not need to install it right but it is very important uh, that sometimes it will happen that you do not have a VMware copy of operating system so you need to install the ISO file so that's why I'm showing you uh, so you can either connect to the server directly like ESXi or Zen server if you're having um, then virtualize a physical machine if you want to make your system your physical machine to be a virtual machine then you can do it uh, then these options we will uh, late, uh, later understand uh, so first I'll go to the uh, virtual machine and then uh, there's a typical and custom. The difference is a uh, typical will install each and every component of your ISO. Uh, the custom is like uh, uh, like uh, if you want to install just a, a small section of an uh, uh, operating system that you can install. 
there is a see if there is a CSI control and a virtual disk type and compatibility uh, with older VM, VMware product if you are having. So custom is a it's a kind of you know advanced installation which uh, I never recommend you. So go for a recommend one typical one. So go to the next. There are three options uh, to install uh, to browse the disk. So if you are having a CD-ROM which will I mean you will not get it. But these two options are available for you. So I'm having this uh, ISO here for XP. I will browse it for Kali Linux. So uh, let me go for my 19 version. This is one. I'm going to see. It will not, not detect it, but uh, this is Kali Linux 2019. I browsed it. If you do not want to make it from here, you can install the operating system later. And I'll tell you that option as well. So let me install this operating system later. I'll check on this box. And then I'm gonna say next. Then there are four options uh, according to your operating system. So if it is like Windows, then you will click on it. If there is a Linux, then you will click on it. And subsequent uh, uh, drop down you will see for Windows. Uh, if I click on Linux, you will get uh, all of all distros of Linux here. Uh, if there is a ESX, then it will show you the operations on it. So I want to install a Debian system. So I need a Linux. And uh, I'll simply say that Debian uh, <clears throat> 864 bit and I'm gonna next it. So I'm gonna say this is a Kali machine. I'm gonna name my virtual machine as Kali machine. And this is the location where your virtual machine is going to be installed. Okay, the components of several parts of your ISO is been installed on this, this location. So this is the location where you can install, uh, where this installation part will go. Virtual machine and this is the one, see here. Uh, this is my older one, but uh, the new one will be come over here and you will see in the in the uh, In just a minute I'm gonna say next and then it will ask you that uh, how many size you want for your disk. So here is 20 uh, But I'm gonna say that at least 60 GB I need it because there are certain installation which is higher than MBs so I need at least 60 GB remember that uh, if you do not have uh, you know free space in the C drive or in any of the drive then you cannot allocate maximum size here uh, because it, it takes small amount of uh, size from your C or any other drive where, wherever you are installing it so it is important that you have some space on system C or any other uh, drive if you are installing that uh, ISO on that disk so uh, you should need, I mean, you need some space here. So I'm having a pretty much space. So that's why I had allocated 60 GB, all right? So and after that, I have a two options here. Uh, it says that store a virtual disk as a single file or split virtual disk into multiple files. What do you mean by that? Whatever the disk size you are providing here, 60 GB, it says that you want to make it like complete 60 GB or you want to make it like multiple, splitting it like 2 GB, 4 GB, 6 GB. And you will see this thing in this part here see here I already have this one Kali machine and if I open it this is multiple uh, you know multiple disk here you know it, it had it had split this complete 60 GB here so virtual disk into multiple files so this is an example and if I click on sing storage virtual disk as a single file what do you mean by that is you will not get the these splitting it will it will be only one single file of complete uh, you know ISO uh, VMDK is the only file you will get okay uh, not all these all these subsequent uh, splitting files you, you can see here you will not get all these so uh, but the difference is if you are having this single file then it will take uh, you know uh, it takes a lot of time it will consume a lot of things resources and all and uh, beside this it will take a lot of time and uh, if you go for multiple file then it will be very small ended thing i mean it will uh, complete it complete it in like uh, one or two minutes so i'm going to use multiple file because time is the uh, factor here so i'm going to say next and customize hardware uh, you can give memory according to your ram i'm having 8 gb so i'm going to say 2 gb uh, then I'm gonna take uh, two number of processor, uh, two cores for it, and you can install this as per your uh, you know graphic card and all. If you're having high-ended system, the other things are going are going to be remain as it is. Uh, uh, one thing is yes, this one. 
So as I told you in the previous part uh, uh, that I will install my operating system later, I will browse it later. So here is the thing, new CD DVD IDE, then you see it is says auto detect, but it will not auto detect because I need to install it later. So this is the part, use ISO image file, you can browse it from here, I'm going to say this is the install a later part. All right. Uh, then uh, there is a network adapter, which is uh, ne network address translation. Here I am selecting. That means I can share the internet connection of my Windows 10 into my Kali machine. I can share that internet connection here, right? So I'm gonna say next. And uh, this is the customized hardware is done. Now I'm gonna say finish. And you see that uh, it is done. I just need to power it on. And once I power it on, uh, it will start installing and there are different steps for it. So you see that Kali machines gives you different steps. Uh, to enter into the into the virtual machine, you just need to click on this part. And if you want to, uh, if you, and you see that there is no cursor at all, right? If you want to make, enable your cursor, you just need to press Control Alter and you will see there is a cursor. Then again, if you click on Kali machine interface, you will disable the cursor because now you can make an up and down arrow here like this. So if you want to install uh, uh, or you want to make a graphic install, it depends on you. So I'm going to say with uh, stay with graphical install. And uh, I'm sorry because uh, you need to wait for a lot of things here because uh, so many things will happen. Uh, so now it will ask you for the language. So English is okay. Uh, then continue. Uh, location depends on your country. You can take your location. The American English. Uh, it, this is the keyboard that you want. Depend on the uh, the nationality you are having. So it is detecting my resources from the physical machine and all. Uh, it is asking uh, for installation media if I'm having. Oh, I'm sorry, I think it is uh, taking the uh, the sources from the installation media, that means my ISO. Then it is uh, detecting network hardware, that means my NIC. Uh, it is configuring my IP4, IPv6. Remember that uh, your virtual machine will never give you Wi-Fi connection because uh, it will convert your uh, Wi-Fi connection from your physical machine into an Ethernet connection in your, in your virtual machine, any virtual machine. Uh, but if you are having external Wi-Fi card, then there might be a possibility, not possibility, but it will detect the Wi-Fi connection in your virtual machine, otherwise not, okay? Remember this part. Uh, so I'm going to say continue, a domain name, I do not have it, uh, configure the network and root password is, uh, you can take any, but um, so this is my root password. I think it is pretty obvious if you... Uh, the clock, uh, depending on your location, you can set a clock here, then continue, and then basically, uh, then it will ask you for the partition disk. So it will go for, now I'm going to say that use my entire disk and continue. Then you see that 60 GB you had uh, allocated for VMware and it is allocating the extra 4 GB for something else. And I'm going to say next. And I'm going to use this as well Then make it uh, next. Then changes to disk. It will ask you that. Yes, I want to change it. Yes. And then it will partition the disk here. And it is now uh, going to install the system and it will take some time like uh, uh, more minutes. So I'm going to stop it here. And I, once that's done, I'll resume the thing. Okay. So uh, once the complete system gets installed, you will get this option, uh, a network mirror can use to supplement uh, the software that is included on the installation media. This may also make a newer version of the software available, but I do not want to make it. So I will say uh, no, and I'm going to go with continue. And this will uh, th ask you about the Grub installation, and uh, it will take some time. It is still a con yeah see install the grub boot loader on a hard disk and uh, it, it, it is going to prompt you here and remember to uh, make it yes because otherwise uh, the installation going to be corrupt and again uh, it will fail from here so it is asking you install the grub boot loader on the to the master boot record here so i'm gonna say yes i'm gonna say continue 
and now here entire device manually instead of that you go for dev sda uh, for the grub i'm gonna say continue and now uh, the complete system has been installed and uh, it is going to restart you see and uh, i hope you will like it so it is going to finish the installation and i'll see you in the next session to configure your kali machine thank you so much guys